Your hurt is not always in black and white. Sometimes you might just want to be heard. The pain you feel. You might feel as if no one cares. As if no one loves you. You might ask yourself, why do I have to go through this? Why me? What have I done? What have I done to be bullied, to be picked on? I've never bothered anyone. Try my best to be a kind person because that's how you were taught. But it's not always as simple as black and white. It's not always that simple. You may wonder, why is no one listening? And you also may be too scared to even share how you feel. The sadness, the pain, the hurt, the rejection, everything that comes along with being bullied. But it's never simple. And everything isn't always just black and white. Do you feel like you're fighting against yourself? do right, to, to make other people happy, to make yourself happy, to fight the hurt and the pain. It's an internal battle with yourself. Sometimes life is fuzzy and you can't see clear. You can't see because you're living only in the moment. You cannot see how, sometimes, no, not sometimes, all of the time, when you make decisions and make a conscious decision to take your life, you don't see, it's not clear to you how many people Will miss you. How many people are going to hurt? You can't see it. And you lose focus. Sometimes you may lose focus because you're stuck in that moment. And it's only one moment. But that moment to you may seem like a lifetime of pain just that moment. It's never really as bad as we sometimes make it seem. Do you think about all those people who will miss you? Do you think about all those people who will hurt? Do you think about those people who will cry their self to sleep at night because you're gone? Why care about people and what people think who aren't a major factor in your life to let the words of those who might treat you really bad and mistreat you to let them win? Because when you take your life, they win. When you take your life, they pushed you over the edge. They won. When you succumb to the hurt, they won. Don't forget about the people that love you. Don't forget about those who care. When you take your life, those minor things, those little petty things that people say and how they treat you, it don't matter anymore. Because then you're gone. And you don't think about all those people who hurt because you're gone. Those people who truly care about you. You have to gain focus. You have to remain focused. And you have to stay focused. And even when you go through petty mess, just for the simple fact that somebody else might be unhappy in their life, you have to stand strong. You cannot let 
the things that people say or the, the life experiences and the things that you go through push you to that limit, to a place where you will take your own life. We have to stop it. We have to stop and think. Those minor times in your life that seem so monumental, they seem so big or minor. The things that people say to you, they're minor. The hurtful things that people say, they're minor. They're not going to pay your bills. They're not going to give you hugs and kisses. The things that they say will not save your life. Don't. Allow the things that people say cloud your judgment to where you forget about the people who truly care about you, the people who love you. And I have enough love for everyone. There's people still in this world who truly do care. Think about those who care. And even if you feel like that, no one cares. I care. There are those that do care, that don't want to see people, and especially children, because there are more and more children taking their lives because of the mistreatment and the petty and the bullying of others. Enough is enough already. Enough is enough.